Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to be with you all with our gorgeous musicians, Reiko and our choir and Mark and Bill leading us in music today, our greeters who welcomed you, people who made our forums possible. I hope some of you got there this morning as we grapple with some of the most challenging questions and issues of our day, moral questions of our day. Everybody and all of you who got up, got dressed by all accounts, I think I see no nakedness in the pews today, which in San Francisco can sometimes happen, and made it here. It's great to have you all here this morning and everyone who's joining us remotely. And this Sunday, we are gonna have some special guests with us at worship and afterwards, folks who are here because we're gonna be honoring the Align Circle which in the seven years that I've come, we, um, we've, we've named and honored, but really honor them um, and their family members with a ceremony. So are there folks who are here today because of the Align reception? And if so, do you mind just putting up your hand, and letting us know that you're here? Great, Kathleen. Wonderful. Well, please look out as you walk around today for name tags that someone might have saying, identifying themselves and the family member that they're connected with as we welcome them. And some of you are online joining us by uh, the live stream, so welcome. It's great to have you all here. And a special thanks to Sarah Ellerman and Alicia Cover and the Sextons and the stewardship team who have made today's reception and celebration possible, which we hope you'll all participate in. And it is a Sunday when we are talking about legacy, which is this huge and incredibly important question that I think as we ask and answer, it can orient our lives, how we move forward, both grounding us in gratitude for the legacy we inherit, the people whose shoulders we stand on, and also helps us think in very clear ways about how we wanna live now so that we leave the world blessed by the legacy that would feel most important to us. So huge question in our discernment and search for truth and meaning, and thank you for being part of it. We are lighting our chalice now, and I'll invite you to say the words that are printed in your order of service. And because we will talk today a lot about the UU Service Committee, it, I would be remiss in not pointing out that this or some version of this symbol was actually created as a way to identify the humanitarian relief that was happening in World War II, the way the Red Cross, started by a universalist, um, Clara Barton, was, um, had a cross that allowed people to trust that, um, that their best interests were in mind. And so um, an artist um, in Europe, Hans Deutsch created our chalice, and so it has carried on as a larger symbol of our faith that has grown so over time. So as we light it, please say the words printed in your order of service. We light this chalice for the light of truth, the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together. <laughs> 